so this next one is a, a dead bug with a reverse crunch added in. So it's just technically a little bit harder than the dead bug because we are adding in two movements into it and it's going to require a little bit more uh, emphasis and technique required on your breathing and control. So what we're going to do is we're going to need an anchor. We're going to use a heavy enough kettlebell just to hold us down. Make sure your arms are straight when you're holding the kettlebell. And then from there we're going to do a reverse crunch. Bring your knees towards your elbows, nice controlled. And then we're going to extend from here, one leg out. Keep your lower back pushed into the floor. And here's our dead bug position. Rib cage down. Again, knees to elbows. So one leg stays above your hip, the other one gets extended out, not hitting the floor. And the whole point of this is to teach you to keep your rib cage down, abs engaged, and no space in the lower back. So a crap one would look something like this. Okay, loads of room underneath the back. The rib cage would be up, the belly be sticking up. So we gotta keep that down there. When you're doing this as well, just do it really slow and controlled, so it's not about doing it for reps. We want to keep it under tension. Elbows off the knees. Breathe out hard. Rib cage down. Breathe in. Breathe out hard. Rib cage down. Okay, that's your dead bug and reverse crunches.